Sue Blickers and uh, Pauline Bursman, my fellow parish councillors and uh, our hard-working clerk, um, some representatives of River who are concerned about this matter, mm -hmm. and of course the, the media, and including our Lord Caroline Lord Betts. Lord Lord yes. yes. Uh, well, Councillor Collar, we're here today to seek Dover District Council's help with the continuing problems arising from irresponsible and illegal parking in the vicinity of River School. Whilst it is believed that those responsible are quite few in number, they are very persistent. They know that they will not be apprehended, so they continue to park here with impunity. On the other hand, most parents who have to use their cars park responsibly a short distance away and walk to and fro from the school with their children. River Parish Council's concern has always been and remains the safety of the school children. For almost a year now, we have liaised with Kent County Council, Kent Highways, Dover District Council, as well as the school itself, of course, to try and find a solution to this problem. This has proved to be frustrating, to say the least. During that time, you, as you may recall, we even considered paying for a part-time warden to be employed by the local authority. Regrettably, the cost that was eventually found to be so prohibitive, it could not be recommended to our parishioners. However, in July, a local resident suggested a joint initiative involving the Parish Council and all concerned individuals to petition Dover District Council to deploy parking attendants to work in the vicinity of the school in order to issue penalty notices to offending drivers. For their part, Dover District Council have claimed that parking attendants patrol this area regularly, although it is suggested many concerned parents and local residents would probably dispute this. It was reported recently that Dover District Council made a surplus of over £1 million from parking last year. Could this be the reason why Dover District Council is seemingly reluctant to deploy their parking attendants to other areas, such as River? Incidentally, Shetway's surplus last year was only £40,000. Councillor Collar, we seek urgent support from Dover District Council to avoid injury or fatality near or around River School during busy arrival and departure times. It is appreciated that some other schools have similar problems, so we must be realistic. All we would therefore request is that two or three calls each month by parking attendants, importantly on an irregular basis, that ought to be su sufficient to deter those who continue to park here in an irresponsible and illegal manner. On behalf of River Council and all those concerned, I would therefore ask you to accept this petition with almost 600 signatures. We would all urge Dover District Council to act without delay to avoid an accident involving a child which is quite too bad. Thank you, and as I spoke to Cynthia, that's all. As you've chosen the petition route, I cannot comment. It will need to go through our democratic process. I fully understand that. Thank you very much indeed. It probably will be some of the interested himself coming to speak in the meeting as well. Certainly. It will be their workload will be carried away. Certainly. We'll be very pleased to advise. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.